Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown 2. It is the morning of day 8. I've got uh, three skill points to spend here. Uh, first and foremost, I want to go into Advanced Engineering again. Uh, so we got to do this first. Then we can go Level 2 Advanced Engineering. And with the last point, I'm going to go Daring Adventurer. This uh, will gain us access to better trader items and give us 5% more dukes. Uh, check this out. This is the beginnings of our next horde base. A little balance beam running between these two buildings. That's all I've done so far. So, a lot of work to be done before day 10. But, not gonna do it now. We're gonna go exploring now. We're gonna check out the town. See if we can possibly find a trader in this town. That would be much better than having to travel to Jens. Uh, we've already gone that way, so let's go this way. Uh, plus, this way is like more towards downtown. So, even if we don't find a trader, I would rather loot more uh, commercial buildings than residential anyway. So, uh, we'll start by cutting through the JWPOI. I don't want to just make a beeline for downtown, because if there is a trader in the city, it's going to be on the outskirts, which, that's where all the traders tend to be. We got a juggernaut over here. Uh, oh! Is that smoke, or is that a cloud? I don't know. Let's deal with this guy first. Alright, uh, yeah, that looks like smoke to me. And where there's smoke, there's Trader. Tools book. Harvesting tools, tier 2. Harvest tools, quality 1. That's a wrench, right? Um... Well, we got a level 2 wrench. Some duct tape. Oh, yeah, baby. We got Trader Jen over here. Why is it always Trader Jen? I, I literally have not seen Rick once in Alpha 21. It's always either Jen or Joel or Wrecked. Where the hell is Rick? Oh, that's nice. Level 2 steel axe. Let's bring that down. And now... We can craft ourselves a hammer and get rid of that stone axe. So, if we don't find a hammer today, we'll craft one tonight. Get rid of that thing. Uh, scrap the pipes, take the brass and the gas, and that can't be searched. What's in here? Some toolboxes. Cloth. Eh, fuck it. I'll take everything. Uh, scrap the pipes, take the forged iron. And, uh, can we just go into Jen's now? Here, let's see. Can I jump over from here? Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Eh. Eh. Here we are. Oh, yeah, look at that. I guess traders don't close in this mod. And you can... Oh, shit. I didn't know you can, like, destroy stuff. We could, like, live here if we wanted to. Live in Jen's little house? How funny would that be? There are some robots following me that are going to break into here, but that's not my problem. That's Jen's problem. Holy shit, there is a mech here inside. Jen is a robot. I fucking knew it. I'm going for the house anyway. Screw you, robot. Close that door. Holy shit. Uh, I just want the books that are in the bathroom. <laughs> that's all I came for. Stupid wiring book. Um, Maybe we should close that. And break the window out. That's probably the smarter move. What is that robot even doing? Did it leave? Oh, no, it did not leave. Listen, I just want to search Jan's purse. Five bucks and some cornmeal. I'm going to rub the cornmeal in my gums like it's fucking cocaine. What else Jan got in the kitchen? Potatoes? Coffee? Did she make coffee? No, of course she didn't because she's a fucking robot. More cornmeal. Rub it in the gums. Let's get the hell out of here. I'll take the vitamin now. Hey, Jen. There's a big robot mech inside here. Not that you care, because you're a robot, too. Lying bitch. <clears throat> what? Nothing. Just uh, looking for books to read. Uh, jump and land quietly. Some more in here. Vehicle book. 
Alrighty. Oh, that unlocked the bicycle. Nice. What's up, Robot Jen? How you doing? I'm gonna just hop over here and rob your shit. I can't believe I didn't know about this. I totally didn't even check when we were at the other Robot Jen's place. Could have robbed her, too. Eh, uh, fine. I'll take it. Take everything, right? That's my motto. Sometimes. That's my motto. Sometimes my motto is leave most of the shit behind. Hey, there's another rad pill. We need a beaker so we can start crafting those things. Ooh, this is a nice little grab. Okay. Formula in the fridge. Rub it in the gums. You got a nice little robot butt there, Jen. It's definitely a robot. Nobody has a butt that nice. That's a, that's a fucking factory-made butt right there. Okay, uh, oh wait, hold on, let me check if see if you got, uh, what? What are you babbling on about? Don't lie, you know the robots started this shit, Jen. Don't try and blame some lab. Sugar bots, that's what I want. Okay, let's, uh, eat that stuff, and with the smell of butt on my breath, now we can do business. Uh, I don't want to sell you any of this stuff up here. Let's see what you got. Beaker, mine. Now we can craft anti-rad pills so we don't have to worry about radiation anymore. Buying all these forged ahead books. Fusion pickaxe. We can afford it, but is it worth it? Uh, block damage 60, melee damage 15, 17 and 74. It's not even better than my iron pickaxe, so I'm not buying it. I will buy this ammo, though. Ah. Uh, can't afford all of it. Mm, Alright, I'll buy what I can. That'll do it. Let's Thanks do a job listen. now. We're open from dawn to really? Dawn. Only it's buried so supplies? We don't have clocks. Alright, I guess I'll do one. It's kinda weak though. We always need some hurry back soon. Oh, there it is, the workbench, finally. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, not bad at all. We'll get one of those crafted tonight, too. Take everything. Uh, you know what? I'll use the other door. So now, the question is... Do we try and crank out jobs for this robot, Jen? She's not far away from our home at all. And get the bicycle as a reward after we're done completing the tier one jobs. And then, you know, skip crafting the bicycle and just go for the mini bike. That could take us a few days of doing jobs and such, you know, to unlock the bicycle. Or we can get one crafted tonight. Because I unlocked the bike and the workbench, and I'm sure I got the materials that I'm going to need. So that's something to think about. Got a glob of blue shit over here. There's more over there. Looks like blue poop. What is it? Oh, it's cobalt. I guess, uh... The look of it is, has just changed. Under, in the ground, it looks like lead. All right, well, good to know. Um, I don't need to mine too much of this stuff right now. There's a bunch of it uh, close to home, so when we need it, we can get it. It's all over the place, too, so it doesn't seem like a big deal. All right, the mech is walking away. What? Oh, God, we're getting shot at by that fucking spaceship. Right? It was the spaceship shooting at me. Wasn't it? Should probably take it out. Kind of want to just activate this job and start digging, though, before this mech fucking gets pissed. Oh, God. Fucking ship. All right. We got to do it. Oh, God. That did nothing. Did I hit the tree? There we go. Hide behind this tree. Can't get me, bitch. Oh, God. It's just getting closer. Ow! 
It's a little aggressive. Come on. That mech is clueless, huh? <laughs> They're pretty easy to avoid. Not gonna lie. Okay, drone is dead. That guy's fucking in La La Land. We're just gonna start digging. Got footsteps. Yeah, a little wandering robot horde, of course. They don't seem to notice me. We just can't get caught down here. I don't have an assault rifle. It's not like zombies. You know, if you're in a hole and a bunch of zombies fall in there and you got an AK or a shotgun, you're basically going to be fine, but... The robots drop in on me. I could have a serious problem. And I keep... And their footsteps... I can't tell if they're headed this way or not. All right, they're not right now. Ah, never mind. That one caught wind of me. All right. Better deal with them. Better to deal with them up here than in the hole. Oh, it's right here. Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. Hey. Might as well take him out. Uh, hold up a second. I didn't realize how much goldenrod and chrysanthemum Jen has. Well, that didn't take long. Uh, anti-rad pills. Three of them. But we don't need them anymore. We can craft them now. So let's go with the shotgun energy cell ammo. Now we just need a shotgun energy cell. Uh, you can have this jacket, Jen. And I think that's it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, come again. I will come again. Also, you need more flowers out front because I took them all. All right, I'm going to take an anti-rad pill now just in case because I'm going to go get that supply drop. That pill will get us down to 0% eventually anyway and keep us from getting radiated for a bit. Uh, but if you remember, when I tried to get the supply drop in the last episode, I started getting radiated. And for a minute... Or at least during that time, I thought it was the area of the map that was radiating me. Uh, oh, stupid barbed wire. But apparently it was an item in the in the game. A barrel or something. Maybe there was radiation barrels around. Someone said those cause radiation if you get too close to them. And apparently I was standing near them and didn't notice. So, we're going to head to the supply drop. See if we can get it without any problems. Let's stop in here real quick. I've got... Uh, it marked on the map that there's a safe in here we left behind. I forget where it was, though. I don't think it was in the basement. Uh, there you go, Chad. Go that way. Whoa, upstairs, maybe? Let's, uh, check real quick. It's somewhere in here. It's a wall safe. Uh, not in the bathroom. I think it's with the main stash, actually. Right? Up here? No? Yes, there it is. Okay, uh, let's keep these fuckers from getting up here. Probably just by knocking this out. Uh, alright. We should be safe. I think. We can see it. We can see that area from here while we pick this safe. So, if they start coming, then... I don't know, I'll do something. This is around the area, I think, where I was getting radiated last time. I don't see anything. I'm just going for the drop. I don't know if I took a different route and I'm just not near whatever I was near when I was getting radiated, or if it's because I took an anti-rad pill. I have no idea. But I'm just going for the drop, and... Uh, then I'll head straight north back home from there, and we'll see what happens. And sometimes them helicopters have good loot, and sometimes they have just mediocre bullshit. Uh, I never did raid this giant passing gas before, not the whole place. I've been in it before, but I never went through the entire POI. So, uh, since this is on our way home, we'll do that after we get the drop, and then we'll head home. That should probably put us around uh, nightfall anyway.
Okay, some food, another workstation book, which is nice. What do we got here? Ranged mods and uh, crafting skill magazine bundle. Ooh, red dot, arrow rest, and a silencer. And some books. Alright, we start over here in the lobby. I've been inside here before, but that's about as far in as I've been. Those doors... I feel real secure with those closed. Come on out. Yep. Yeah, okay. Chad's gone. Out of my way. Got a juggernaut. Not a big deal. Murky water. Okay, we're heading upstairs. Oh, shit. What? Where am I? In a little room? With some food? That's hardly a trap. Oh, we're right here in the lobby again. Oh, shit, that guy <laughs> would have fell right on my head if I didn't act sooner. Hey, I missed some food. There we go. It's a good thing I fell down there. See what we got up here. Robots, apparently. Too easy. I'm starting to get ahead of myself, I think. But I really feel like uh, I got a handle on this now. Food situation, dealt with. Water situation, piece of cake. Anti-rad pill situation, done. We got a workbench. We can craft a bicycle. We don't have a workbench yet, but we're going to craft one tonight. We can craft a bicycle if we want. I'm not really threatened by these juggernauts and regular robots, of course. Drones are still a bit of a pain in the ass. The mechs, they have a lot of hit points, and some of them have guns. I've never been shot at by one of them before. They're more of just like an annoyance, though, because you can easily outrun them or get away from them. The problem, like I said before, is going to be if these giant mechs start showing up in the horde. Nice, a little bit of ammo, some bow parts. Uh, I guess I'll pick up this chair and take it apart. I should definitely be focusing on that a bit more. I keep forgetting there are no animals in the world, so I shouldn't be passing up any leather, bones, animal fat or whatever if I find these things out in the wild. Downstairs we go. That's open. This, uh, is now open. What's that? Something. Trash. Is that it? I guess so. Brass and lead. And some cloth. Close that. That's open. This is open too, but just some trash. A uh, book. That's nice. Oh! Damn! Fucking ninja robot. Oh, is he up there? Another book. Armor book. And some food. Oh, ATM. I see a uh, robot part sticking out over there. Dead. Juggernaut. Oh, damn, that's how good I am. Hit him before the door even opened. Let's crack in here. Thousand bucks. Registers are both opened. I guess let's go through the shelves. Probably just a bunch of junk, but you never know. Explosives book, just casually on the shelf at a gas station. Make your own explosives at home. Totally not dangerous. Hey, Mega Crush, that's cool. Jeans, I think I'm good on clothes. Yeah, I got BDU pants, a BDU shirt, nice jacket. I need boots, that's what I need.
And these are probably just regular boots. Goth boots, still. That's what I'm wearing. I need uh, armor boots. Anyone in the dressing room? No? That's a pretty aggressive way to check. I don't recommend doing that at the store. If you want, you want to know if someone's in a dressing room, don't smash the door open with a sledgehammer. Uh, just knock politely and ask, Hello, is anyone... Is this occupied? That's a better way to go about living, you know? Definitely not doing anything I do or say. Here we are. Oh, shit. Man, that guy had a plan. Fucking dropped it right down on me. <laughs> shit. Looks like it's just me and you now, Battletoad. You don't stand a chance, buddy. I hate to tell you that. But it's the truth. Down he goes, but it wasn't just me and him. There's a drone down there that I spotted. Let's take him apart first. Then we'll deal with the drone. Even though the drones are a pain in the ass, they don't really have, like, pathing. They just always get stuck or just, like, kind of stay there. So, currently not much of a threat. Unless you're out in the open and you get caught by them. That's the one thing that makes me nervous about this base that I'm planning. Kind of leaves us out in the open, unless I build us a roof up on the roof. You know? Purse. That's not bad. A little bit of gas. And, uh, let's get out of here. There's a wheel. So if we do craft a bicycle tonight, we only have to make one of them. Okay, let's head back home. It's getting late. Got a big giant mech over there. With 8,000 hit points, but look at him. He's stuck in that trench. Completely harmless. He's given up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not really worried about them like I was. They're an inconvenience. If there's one by uh, a treasure or by buried supplies, stuff like that, where you want to be, that's a problem. Then you got to deal with it. It's going to cost you a lot of fucking ammo to deal with it. Or if they start showing up in the hordes at our base, then again, we got to deal with them. And it's going to cost us a lot of ammo until... We can get our hands on one of these energy plasma guns. Let's go get uh, some easy loot, shall we? This place is uh, pretty easy to grab the stash from. Oh, shit. Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, anyway, you want to just climb this ladder right here. Uh, this hatch, can we close it? No, it's locked open, but it doesn't matter because the robots aren't going to be able to make this jump. There's a drone, usually a bird. So, uh, God, just got to take the drone out. Stop coming near me. Fuck off. I better shoot it because the, these things blow up. Nice. I just saw a robot fall. Yeah, so uh, we don't got to worry about them. These robots were already in the barn. So, just take them out, and then, uh, we can grab the loot without having to worry. Uh, it is nightfall, so they are all sprinters now. One's dead. Let's, uh, see how fast this guy is. Get up here. Oh, he's, he's much faster. Now, during the day, I have him set at jog. At night, they sprint. I guess we can crank it up a little bit during the day, change it to run. Make things a little more exciting. All right. Let's grab this stash now. Nice way to end the day. Home sweet home. The prison. 
a pretty good day. We found a trader right almost next door to us. We uh, unlocked the workbench, the bicycle, which I think I'm just going to craft tonight. Why not? I got to check and see how far away we are from unlocking the mini bike. That, I guess, will determine whether we craft the bicycle now or just try and get the bicycle through trader jobs and craft the mini bike. I don't know. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, I'm sure I got all these parts. The one thing I might need more of is duct tape. We might have to craft more of that. Yeah, I only got one piece. But we got plenty of glue and cloth, so we can do that. What do I need? Uh, two pieces. That's all I'll craft for now. There we go. Uh, the iron. Bam. Workbench. Beautiful. And then, like I said, let's uh, take a look at the vehicle books. Uh, I'm in the wrong place here, aren't I? Here we are. Vehicles. Okay, bicycle is unlocked. And we're gonna, it's gonna, we're at 6 of 20 for the mini bike. So we need 14 more books, vehicle books, before we unlock the mini bike. I think I'm just gonna craft the bicycle tonight. I got what I need to do it. So I think that's the move. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to get a little bit more base work done tonight, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day nine. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys can follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown 2, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.